Well, hello. Uh, I'm making a video now for the Rotex 2, no, 914. I'm going to uh, replace the uh, uh, clamping bolts on my warp drive propeller. And the reason I do that is because I was checking it lately and then um, I found uh, uh, two bolts that were um, overturned, so they, they really weren't doing uh, much by, by clamping the, pro the props, the prop plate. So uh, I ordered a new um, clamping bolt at uh, Warp Drive in the United States. Uh, I'm in Holland, winter time now, so time to do some maintenance uh, on the airplane. And um, what I'm going to do now is uh, replace the, uh, the bolts. I took one out already, I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay. So this one was a little bit um, overturned. Does it adjust? Maybe. No, you can't see that properly. Uh, but I'm taking them out. And um, I'm gonna put the new one in. The whole package. So, oh. what I'm doing is I'm, I'm gonna replace them all. So, not only uh, the ones that I thought were overturned, but bolt, nut and uh, two washers. I'm gonna do it crossways. Uh, washer in and nylon nuts on it here in uh, Europe we use 11 millimeters for it So now I'm just uh, hand tightening it and um, in the instructions it says that it has to be torqued by 10 feet label pound or 120 inches label pound which is 14 newton meters with we use in Europe quite a lot but now I'm not just I'm not torquing them yet I'm just um, putting them on hand tight um, and when I replaced uh, all four per blade that I'm gonna do it with my torque wrench so I'm gonna take this one out too and uh, I do it crossways So I got this airplane now for two years and um, I try to replace stuff every time when I work on it a little bit and I see this then I see that. I also followed a uh, line maintenance uh, course for the Rotex 914 engine so now I know a lot more about the engine but still um, when I got my animal in April, I'm gonna bring it to a uh, 
to a shop that are very familiar with the Rotex engines. They got mechanics who work on those engines every day. And I'm just a hobby man. So I'm not going to presume that I know more than they do. Actually, I have a little bit, little bit more confidence in them when they're working on those engines for their work. So they see also abnormalities that I probably would overlook. Okay, I'm gonna stop the tape here to replace the other ones because that is all the same. So I got them all in and um, now I got my torque range set on uh, 14 uh, Newton meters and uh, I'm gonna check it there, okay? I hear the click and that means it's reached the 14. Now I'm gonna do it crossways and this other one. And I hear the click. It is very advisable not to go any further than that. Because I think they are the uh, overturning develops when you go more than the recommended here 14 and this one. Here we have it, all four 14 Newton meters. So, and the other ones I'm going to do without making a uh, video of it because uh, it's obvious the same. Uh, but I do recommend that you use the, uh, the instructions that uh, come with for the um, assembly instructions. Okay, bye for now.